Welcome to Grid Formation Racing. On today's video, I'll be giving a quick race review of the Bomberito 500 in uh, St. Louis. Uh, it was uh, the last of the ovals. There was five of them. Um, it was a very exciting race. Lots of action happened, so it was certainly um, one of the better races. Um, I have to admit, though, I, I do prefer the super speedways just from a, my own personal uh, perspective. I know that um, uh, Pocono, lots of uh, discussion right now with Pocono and, and will it remain with all the, the accents that are happening there. Um, I personally do like it though. I just think if they fix, I call it the cheese grater fence. I feel like once they get up there, those cars just get ripped apart and you know, some bad things happen. So I, I feel that if they can fix the, um, the fence and not have all those fence posts kicking out everywhere, I don't know. I, I think it's possible and I really enjoy the super speedway so I don't want to see them go uh, from a selfish perspective but anyways, let's get back to uh, the 500. Um, going into the race, the, the points are really close especially in the, the top four with uh, New Garden, uh, Rossi, um, you know, those top four. And you even have Power in fifth. And he's, uh, he's kicking around. He's not, um, he, you know, I would like to see him uh, be competitive. But in this race, he, he had a did not finish. He had some car problems. and Or sorry, no, that was um, Rossi. Uh, car, not Carpenter. Um, power uh, hit the wall. And then that was his day, and that was disappointing for uh, for him. I think his whole season's been a little bit disappointing, so that that was too bad. Um, it, well, let's just get to the start of the race then. So, you know, um, Newgarden had pole position. He felt his car was running really great. He's been really happy, you know, in the last few ovals, thinking the car's running well. And anyways, he he gets the pole position, feeling good, uh, and then they get they get started, and it, it had a very similar start to Pocono where everyone was just like crowding that first lap it could have easily uh, had some accidents but they all kind of got through it um, and it, you know from there just so many different events happened and it was really a great race uh, for uh, Ferrucci he, he, he drove uh, fabulously um, you know he's leading the rookies just really really good Good young race car driver and a really bright future. He ended up in what place did he end up in? Fourth. Uh, really great race, but he led for a, a lot of laps. I can't remember quite how many, but um, we'll just quickly go right to the end just to just to fast forward everything. And um, you know, you had uh, Sato and New Garden and Carpenter. They they all pitted uh, under the yellow. They got extremely lucky with their strategy. But it worked out. I'm really happy for Sato that he was able to pull out the win. Uh, I liked watching uh, Carpenter battle at the end there. That was really fun. Great finish. Uh, and then Ferrucci. That was also, I mean, they were battling at the end. He had to back off on the last corner. But overall, really exciting race. Um, I, I felt bad for Newgarden. At the end, he sp spun his car and then and had a... Uh, I think he lost two positions in the end. Um, luckily, Rossi though was able to get his car uh, back on the track after he had those uh, the engine uh, problems, and then they, they got him back out. He finished in I don't know twelfth or thirteenth or whatever. So at least he got some points, um, kept it sort of close uh, with everything that was happening. But um, you know, it's this is leading up to a what's going to be a great Portland race, I believe, because you have. Uh, Pagano, Rossi, New Garden, um, uh, and Dixon. Still, they're all still right there. Dixon um, wasn't able to, you know, he had a disappointing race as well, and uh, it's too bad. But I think it's going to be an exciting Portland race. Um, still very close in the championship, so I'm really excited for uh, Portland. Um, little. The scheduling is a little frustrating because it's it's Indy and F1 in the same. Uh, I think they they finish lining up for the remainder of the season, which selfishly I wish it was just a little bit more staggered. 
Um, I think a lot of open wheel uh, indie F1 fans, you know, just makes it's better if it's split and you can you have something to watch. But either way, the time differences usually work in our in our favor, and we can squeeze them both in. It's just uh, selfish. I wish they were spread out, but overall, great race, uh, lots of fun. I look forward to Portland and um, and uh, and Laguna and seeing how this all uh, pans out. Should be a great ending. Um, so it's been a I, I, really enjoyable season. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we got a good race. Thank you. Great formation racing.